Hi, I'm your host, Keith P. Today we're taking a look at the E Elements Z88. This one is called a uh, Super Scholar. This is clearly the keyboard that people will want to buy if they're going to go to school uh, and they want to convince their parents that they need to buy a mechanical keyboard. I personally think that that's a great idea. Uh, give these things catchy names so that parents know that this is what they want. Uh, non removable cable. Oh, no, it is a removable cable. Maybe. Uh, some accessories. Alright. We'll use this in a minute. Take a look at the accessories. Uh, some extra switches. Oh, these look like box switches. But they don't look like Kales. Uh, this is the Utemu box switch. I, I can't say I'd ever seen one of these before. Um, it looks pretty cool. It's uh, a little rougher and a little wobblier than, than the Kales. But it still seems like it's... Uh, overall, it's a pretty decent switch. It's definitely less wobbly than some of the uh, Cherry MX non-box versions. Uh, and you can see on the bottom here, maybe you can, uh, you can see on the bottom here that there's two thin pins. So this is a little bit different than the uh, thin thick. Uh, it's got two thin legs, so that's definitely not compatible with Cherry MX, uh, but it will be compatible with B Suns, Pandas, and anything else that has two thin legs. All right, let's get to the keyboard bit. So the keyboard itself as you can see is this 65% layout. We've got the arrow keys over here. Uh, these keycaps, they look like they're ABS. Yeah, they're ABS double shot keycaps. It's, it's un the first thing to say is it's unusual that they packed it with the cable in it. This is a micro USB cable, but it is, it is removable, so. This is the, it's called the Z88 Super Scholar, even though it's an 81 key. So you can see it's got the arrow cluster, it's got this side along the edge, but it also has the F keys. So, um, this is a compact keyboard, so you can get your mouse nice and close, which is an advantage, but it also has the arrow keys for those of you who don't like to uh, macro that sort of thing. These Utemu Reds, I'm just going to give a little typing test here. So I would say the good news is that they're removable uh, because what you'll want to do is remove them and probably put some lube in there. There we go, that one popped right out. So this is good news. Uh, you will want to, if you buy this, this keyboard, you will probably want to uh, remove these. Uh, take them out, uh, crack them open. You just use some tweezers to get in there. Uh, pop some lube along the sides of the stems um, and smooth that up a little bit, just because they are a little bit, uh, are a little bit rough. So I'm gonna say that this has like a semi-standard layout. So it's got three on the left. This looks like a 6.25U spacebar right here. Uh, and then it's got two 1.25s on the right. And then of course the arrow cluster. Um, that'll make this short shift not that uncommon, but uh, it looks like there's a, a little extra gap in here, like a little quarter, extra quarter gap. That's probably to make this a more standard and easily findable piece. Uh, this looks like a, uh, it's difficult to say, is that a 1.75? It's the same size as as your tab key, so what's that, 1.5 or 1.75? I'm not really sure. All right, uh, looking at the keyboard itself, it looks like we've got a metal or aluminum uh, top. And then on the back, we've got a bit of plastic. Uh, this does have flippy uppy feet. It's fairly light. Uh, the even though it's double shot, it's definitely double shot. Uh, as I showed earlier, you can see the two different types of plastics. The font that they've used here with this split eight 
on the four is reminiscent of laser etching. So it's a little bit unusual that they've kept that font when they didn't need to. It, it, I'll be honest with you, it feels okay. And you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna buy, uh, if you're looking for a budget mechanical keyboard, uh, this is probably a budget mechanical keyboard. If you're looking for a budget mechanical keyboard with a small footprint, this is definitely one of those. The Utemu switches aren't really that nice and they're gonna be pretty difficult to replace uh, because they have those two thin legs, but it's miles from bad. It's definitely miles and miles from bad. Okay, I'm just going to uh, pop this in here. Of course, I'm doing this review during the day, so I won't be able to really give you guys the full effect of the LEDs. Um, but the LEDs are definitely on here. Uh, how can I show that to you? How can I show that the LEDs are on? Mm, they're on. But there you have it. Uh, there's not much more to say about it. This is the Z88. It's got Utemi switches. It does RGB. Um, it looks like it does basic functionality in terms of the RGB. You'll probably get a couple different effects. Uh, the keycaps are relatively cheap, but again, in terms of budget board, this is kind of the standard. This is what you're going to get, really. Um, it's uh, a little bit frills, but not a lot of frills. It's um, a good mix of value and performance but it's not high performance or high value it's not it's not really anything it's just kind of a decent keyboard at a decent size i don't know with with the keyboard market changing so much over the last couple of years the real question is is there still space for boards like this that aren't the cheapest but are a series of compromises both in terms of size and in terms of switch and in terms of keycap i don't know I'm going to leave that answer to you guys. Uh, vote with your wallets. There's a link to this in the about section below. Uh, you can go down and check it out. If if you were to get this and you were to lube these switches, um, I would say you're probably going to end up with a decent keyboard. I'd rather this over, say, a Razer or a Corsair, only because I know I can replace the keycaps. But otherwise, I don't know. The sorts of people who tend to watch my channel are people who either have more than one keyboard um, or spend a lot of money on keyboards. So you're probably not going to get this one. But equally, if you're a student and you're about to go to college and you're like, I really want a gaming keyboard and my, there's no way my parents are going to buy it for me, uh, the Super Scholar is probably a good way to go. Thanks very much for tuning in today, guys. Don't forget to... Uh, Check the About section for links to this and everything else you can see on my desk. If you have any comments or questions, post them in the comment section below. Don't forget to press like. Don't forget to press subscribe. And we'll see you guys back again very soon indeed with more keyboards, tech, and other cool stuff to review.